Hi everyone, I've got some tables to share with you on the sixth seal. And I was actually working on some more tables for April and I found about three more matrixes that come up for the month of April and I wanted to share those with you. But as I was working on those, I actually got a request to do to search for the sixth seal. So I searched for that last night and I found these tables over here which are really interesting. So I want to go ahead and present these next and I'm going to go ahead and start with this one right here. This one reads six seal elect dead rise star sun dark stars. Okay, and as you can see right off the bat, you see the word six right here in, in the light red. Um, you see the word dead over here in this bluish purple color, the letters D, E, and I believe it shares this A over here, which is the word seal. We're talking about the sixth seal, and the word dead over here shares the A and seal, and then you have the D over here for dead. Okay, and so seal is here in the pink with the letters S E A L. And right under the word seal with this other S is the word star in the green, the letters S T A R. And then you have sun over here in the yellow, the letters S U N. And here in the in the blue you have the word rise, the letters R, I, and it looks like it shares, I'm actually not sure which one of these S's it shares, either sixth or looks like this word is another star, another star going this way in the wine color. And the word rise looks like it's sharing probably with the with this S right here, it looks like that's the same amount of space as the I and the E over here distance apart. It looks like it's this S. It looks like it shares with the sixth seal or the sixth, the number, the word sixth. Okay, so you have rise over here with the letters R, I, S, E, and then you have another star in the wine, the letters S, T, A, R, S. This is actually stars. I put in star twice. I put it in singular and then I put it in plural because in the book of Revelation it talks about the stars falling like figs. So I, I put it in singular and plural because I think there's a lot, a lot of different things that are going to take place with the sixth seal. And, and it came up both ways with the singular and the plural. And then you have darkness over here and it shares with the star and it shares with the sixth seal, the word darkness over here. And then you had sun. Of course, the sun is going to be dark when that happens. And then over here you have the word elect in the lavender with the letters E, L, E, C, T. So all of those terms came up and at first I thought this was going to be like the, the most interesting matrix because if I show you what I was working on over here, I had started with, with this table over here and some of the terms were coming up in this next matrix that, that's over here, but I was just ignoring those because I, I really wanted to stick with this one because I thought it was really neat the way the word sixth came up in an angle like this and also because of the context. If you read this, and, and I'll read it in a, in a minute, but if you read these scriptures, it sounds exactly like the six seal opening, which is really amazing how it came up in Psalm 196, and yet it sounds just like the six seal. 
So I'm going to read those scriptures and I'm going to go over the rest of these terms. But like I said, at first I was just ignoring this other matrix until I saw this word come up. And I realized that this second matrix may be even more profound than this first one. But I, I, I like to do things in order, so I'm just going to show you the ones that I came up with first. And then I'm going to go into this matrix, which, which is really interesting. And then this one I came up with because I was trying to put in some dates. And this one is really interesting too. And as far as the dates go, I'm not trying to set a day or an hour. There's a lot more that comes up here in April. And as you had seen in my previous videos, March came up and that was very profound. And in this table, well, May comes up, but, but May is just three letters. So I'm not convinced that everything necessarily has to happen in May. But I think it may came up pretty much with all of these matrices. But I think this is the only one that had another month other than, than May to come up. Which was the month of June. Came up in this one. It's really interesting how that comes up. I didn't look past June because I, I really don't even think it's going to take that long. But if it does, then I can start searching for for June but if you look at this second advent table that I had done and if you haven't seen the video on this you, you should really watch the the video on the second advent because it has a lot of interesting things but I wasn't even trying to look for a date when I was doing this table originally but I couldn't help but notice the date that are in here and these talk about the first month and the first day of the month just like the April tables that I showed in my last two videos so it's like it's giving the beginning of a time frame up here with the first month and the first day of the month and then it's giving another date over here where it says in the second month in the seven and 20th day of the month and then my April table was talking about the 7 and 20th year so maybe the 7 and 20th th that number is significant in terms of a, a day as well in the April table maybe that one's given a time frame also I, I'm not really sure but the second month and the 7 and 20th 27th well, the 7 and 20th day, which would be the 27th of the second month, which is ER, that would be starting sunset for Jerusalem day, which is the 28th, but it would start on the 27th. And so that would lead to Jerusalem day, which lines up with around June 6th or 7th for us on our calendar. And that's the, the date that was coming up in this third matrix. It was coming up with, with those dates, but there was a lot of different numbers and possible dates in that matrix. So I can show you that when I get to it. But I'm just saying that it could be that God's just given us a time frame, and it could possibly go beyond that. It could just be that these are just warnings. Uh, I'm really not sure, but one week after this date, would be Shavuot. Of course, Pentecost for the Christians would be sooner than that, but that would be sometime in June. The seventh is Jerusalem Day, and then about a week after that would be Shavuot. So it could go, you know, beyond this date right here. I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to mention that because I'm not trying to set a date. There's several dates in the matrixes that come up and they could just be warnings. So I just want to make that clear, but I'm going to show you the dates if I see them in here, but I'm not trying to set a date. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go on to, I guess I'll go on to read the 
these verses next because they sound just like the sixth seal opening but I'm gonna take a pause here and get a drink of water and I'll be right back okay sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead and start reading these scriptures now they're in the book of Psalms and it starts with Psalm 1 96 10 and it goes through to 97 9 so I'm going to start over here at the top and it reads say among the nations Jehovah reigneth the world also is established that it cannot be moved he will judge the peoples with equity let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice let the sea roar and the fullness thereof let the field exult and all that is therein then shall all the trees of the wood sing for joy before Jehovah for he cometh for he cometh to judge the earth he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth and then it starts Psalm 97 Jehovah reigneth let the earth rejoice let the multitude of isles be glad clouds and darkness around about him righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne a fire goeth before him and burneth up his adversaries round about his lightnings lightened the world the earth saw and trembled the mountains melted like wax at the presence of Jehovah at the presence of the Lord the whole the Lord of the whole earth the heavens declare his righteousness and all the peoples have seen his glory let all them be put to shame that serve graven images that boast themselves of idols worship him all ye gods Zion heard and was glad and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments O Jehovah for thou Jehovah art most high above all the earth thou art exalted far above all gods okay so as you can see that sounds exactly like the six seal which is what this matrix well, it, well it's what I was searching for and came up with this matrix and it sounds exactly like the six seal so that's pretty amazing and I don't even know if there's any need to go over the phrases because every single phrase in here speaks of the six seal I mean the whole thing speaks of the six seal so I guess I'll go on to go over some of the terms that come up and like I said I only did a little bit because then I switched over once this word came up I started working on this matrix so there's not that many terms to go over but I'll go ahead and get started on on that and actually I think that's the one I just did so I'll start with this one okay so this one I think I had just added the word drop because it, the six seal talks about the stars dropping like figs and then the word drop came came up and it's here in the wine color and it's meshed in with the word stars in the green and the word drop is right here with the letters D R O P and let's see what else okay and this next one I added the word lion roar and Lord and you see the word lion over here in the green and it's interesting how that comes up because it's right here where it says he will judge the world so the lion will judge the world and that's going to be with a roar because Jesus is going to roar like a lion when he comes back and I'm going to have to take a break here because I'm running out of time and I'll pick up with the next video thank you